Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to do a couple of crafts today and a little makeover. I'm so glad you're here. To all my subscribers, I appreciate you. And to my new subscribers, I appreciate you too. <laughs> so let's get started with DIY number one. I have had this three-tiered tray for a while and it just doesn't pop. It's not exciting. It's very blah. <laughs> I thought about painting the silver on it white. But before I did that, I thought, well, maybe I can use that galvanized paint technique and kind of jazz this up a little, see if I like it, make it a little bit more rustic country. And I can always paint it white if I don't like it after. So using the galvanized painting technique, I came in with just some silver, some black, some burnt umber, and I just kept dabbing it with a makeup sponge until I got my desired look. I'm not afraid to try th something new, especially with a backup plan. <laughs> so I knew if I didn't like it, my original plan was to paint it white anyway. So let me know what you think, if you like the way this turned out, or if maybe I should just paint it white and distress it and have a little bit of that silver show through. So blue under those brown curls Soon you're on your way Promise me that you know The world is yours Strike them with your glow Go on now be good, be fine, live your life, dream big, don't forget to be kind, live, it's your life. Rocks are meant to be picked up and thrown, new ideas can be pleasantly So for DIY number two, this is so easy. Using one of those wooden home signs from Dollar Tree and a sign from Dollar General, we're gonna make a birdhouse as a spring decoration to put on my three-tiered tray. And if you can find these at Dollar Tree, you just want the solid house. So you're gonna take everything off of it, sand it down a little bit, and give it a nice coat of white paint.
I went into my stash and I was trying to find a circle big enough to make the hole for the birdhouse. And once I found something that was big enough to my liking, I just traced around it and used black paint to fill it in. I grabbed a dowel rod, I trimmed it down, and I hot glued it, and that's going to be the little perch. I'm pretty sure I got this little metal sign from Dollar General, and it has two little screws on the back, and that's what's holding the house on the front. So I just removed the house, measured it to size, and trimmed it. Now please be careful, because when you are trimming this, you're going to have some really sharp edges. So just be mindful, and please don't cut yourself. <laughs> so I just eyeballed it where I wanted to trim it. I used scissors to cut it, and I put this on top of my little birdhouse. I used hot glue at first, but hot glue was not sticking. So you are gonna need some super glue or E6000, something a little heavy duty to get this to stick because hot glue was just peeling right back off. I always show you my mistakes and one of them was leaving the grooves when I was trying to attach this to the top. If you flatten this out, you're going to have a much better secure hold. And again, for video purposes, I am showing you using hot glue, but you are going to need like a super glue or E6000 to secure this. But it does secure a lot better once it's flat. If you don't have one of these signs, you can also use a metal tin baking pan from Dollar Tree. So cute. <laughs> DIY number three. So for this DIY, I'm going to use one of these amazing picture frames that they have at Dollar Tree. And I love it because it has one of those little label holders. And as you all know, I'm just a sucker for anything with one of those label holders on it. So I removed it and I painted the frame white. Then I came in with some popsicle sticks and I painted those white as well.
I just used the insert from the picture frame on top of the popsicle sticks and that was my measuring technique <laughs> to be able to fit the popsicle sticks inside the frame. To not be wasteful, the parts that I cut off of the popsicle sticks I used to secure the back of them to hold them all together and then I just put it back into the frame. Now I don't know why I did this <laughs> right now. Um, I should have waited so don't do this part right now because I also used popsicle sticks you know that I had cut off of these to secure it in that frame knowing I was going to be stenciling this so you want to stencil your popsicle sticks first and then put it all in the frame I did it totally backwards here but I found these little mini stencils at Dollar General and they are so stinking cute and they have so many different sayings I hope your Dollar General has these as well and if you're making mini signs, these are perfect and you get so many. So I popped out the saying I wanted and I just stenciled it on the popsicle, popsicle sticks inside that frame. Now again, like I said, you're going to want to do that first before assembling your frame. Dollar General has the package of these with the different sayings on them, but they also sell a package of arrows and frames and things to embellish your little sign with. So I bought both packages and I'm going to put a little arrow on the bottom of this. How cute is that? Mini stencils for my little mini projects. I was so excited. <laughs> so once you're done with this part, all you have to do is put that little label holder back on your frame and you have the cutest little farmhouse sign for a tiered tray.
how cute is that little mini sign? And you could do so many different little signs using the, this technique. Let me know what you think about my tiered tray. Should I leave it the way it is, where it looks kind of rusted, rustic country, or should I paint it white? Um, leave that in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you guys. And happy crafting. Oh my gosh, I hope you guys can find those stencils at Dollar General. They're amazing. And what a cute little birdhouse. Thank you all for coming on this journey with me. Thanks for joining me. I am so blessed to have you all. I hope you all are having a blessed and wonderful Wonderful day. I'll see you next Sunday. Next Sunday will be a mini, 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 mini video. So stay tuned for that. I love y'all. Bye y'all.